What's up guys? This is a little bit of a different video and I'm going to kind of stay out of frame on this one and just sit to the side and kind of show you what's going on. So this is the HomePod. Um, this is not a brand new HomePod. This is a used one that I picked off of eBay and um, this is going to be a very different relaxed kind of unboxing. I'm kind of tired of filming these super in-depth unboxings with, you know, all the um, just lighting and all the kind of work that I put into them. I'm just going to keep this one simple. It's a used one. It's not really something that's new or hot on the market anyway. So it's nothing else but to share with you guys what the experience is like uh, with buying a used, you know, HomePod. So I bought this off of eBay. It was a really, really good deal. I wasn't really thinking about buying it, but then, you know, this deal came across. I thought about it and it just, you know, I was looking for speakers. I was really, really leaning towards buying Bose. I love Bose and I really think that they're they're one of the best but uh, I ended up with the HomePod so let's try it out so box lifts right off the box is kind of beaten up so it's not really in the best of condition tears and stuff all around it but uh, it is used so I'm not expecting it to be perfect but at least I did get the box um, so it was kind of protected in there so the space gray HomePod sits right in here wow it, it is very heavy um, the speaker on its own is heavy so you get the little design by Apple in California here. Let me just put this down. This is really heavy. And really not much on it, just some details at the bottom. Put this to the side real quick. Let's see what we get inside this. So, design by Apple in California, blah, blah, blah. HomePod, it's kind of crushed up. They still did give you the Apple sticker though, so yay. HomePod, just the kind of setup guide, so. Interesting enough, you know, not, not not in the best condition, all this, but I'm, I wasn't expecting it to be, to be very honest with you, so just connect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, take it near the HomePod, and that's about it. All right, so all you've got to do is connect this up to power, and it's good to go, and I did want to show you something uh, cool. So on the top, even though it is used, they still did not take off the little plastic, so the plastic still remains, so... I mean, it's not in the best of condition if uh, I'm going to zoom and show you guys here. So it is, you know, the, the fiber it is kind of pressed in. Uh, I, maybe it's just from storage or the way they kept it, but it's it's not perfect for sure. I can definitely see why I would have gotten this for the deal I did. But overall, I don't think functionality was affected in any way. Um, it looks clean. The fiber isn't dirty in any manner. But um, yeah, so let me just connect this up and see what it does. All right. Boom, connected. All right, immediately as I've connected it, I got this little circle thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my iPhone and show you guys, all right. Opened it, let's see if it shows anything. There we go, oh, that was quick. So right here it says HomePod setup, so I'm gonna hit setup. Uh, it says two-factor authentication uh, I have to turn it on so it wasn't turned on for me. So I guess I'm just gonna turn it on right now. So HomePod setup. So it's give it letting me set up. So set up. Where's the HomePod? Bedroom, desk, basement, bathroom, dining room, entertainment room. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys the, these options. So you got a ton of them. So bedroom, desk, bathroom, dining room, hmm, entertainment room, game room, garage. Guest room, home theater, kitchen, living room, master bedroom, office. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit desk because it is not going to be on my desk primarily. So continue. Personal requests. So allow anyone to use this home pod to set notes and send messages. So not now. I don't, I don't want that. All right. So it says terms and conditions, which I will agree to. All right. It says account and settings so transfer settings all right all right so it's ringing something i don't know what it is so the top still has this kind of funky little white thing going on and you know what while we're at it i'm gonna get rid of this plastic for you guys so ah oh, man that was satisfying all right so it says connection failed all right let me see welcome to home pod you can't tell but i'm waving to get my attention say hey siri 
Let's try it. Say, hey Siri, what can you do? Hey Siri, what can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey Siri, play some music. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, here's a personal radio station built just for you, starting with Jazzy B featuring Apache Indian. Remember, anytime you have a question, just say, hey Siri. Hey Siri, stop. Oh, that was quick. So, all right. Hey Siri, what's the forecast? It's currently cloudy and 78 degrees in Irving. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 79 degrees. All right. So, I mean, overall, that was it. It was a pretty painless setup. Um, I'm not sure if I want to show you guys how I'd... You know what I'm going to do? I am going to listen to a few songs and then come back to you and tell you what the quality is like. Because I don't want to get striked down for copyright. So give me a minute. All right. So I was listening for a while. And one thing I'll tell you guys right off the bat is the most impressive thing is the bass. Um, I, you can really feel that bass. When I listened to this in the store, I couldn't feel it. But now that I'm in a more of a closed off environment with walls and objects around me, that bass really does kick and I think it's just amazing. Um, the one thing that I am a little bit kind of bummed out about is that you don't get, you know, aux, Bluetooth, anything else. So I would have loved to, you know, connect it to my TV or something like that. Now, unless I have an Apple TV, I really can't do the um, AirPlay thing. I mean, I do have an Apple TV, but I still like to have this, you know, connect directly to my TV. So anything I use on my TV would kind of come back to this. Overall, you know, it is the the sound quality. I have zero complaints, but you know, as as a three hundred and fifty dollars speaker, I don't think it's worth it. Right? You know, the price I bought it at about two hundred and fifty, two hundred ish dollars. Worth it there, but three fifty bucks, not much. But I will tell you one thing. Uh, hey Siri, it listens quick. So stop. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. So every. H-E-Y Siri is very intuitive and very quick. Even if there's very loud music playing, you say it and it'll pick it up. That's something I love about it. Also, there is a, uh, you know, it is a very smart speaker, so it'll learn your environment and uh, decide how to, you know, sound, guide the sound. There's speakers all around the HomePod, you know, tiny little tweeter, so it'll kind of make its mind up as to how to feed you the sound, which is really impressive and definitely kind of puts to term the word smart speaker because it is quite smart it learns your environment and i think it's it's just a very cool device now as i said wouldn't pay that much money for it brand new but used or if they come up with a more cheaper alternative yeah i'd definitely take it all right guys so this is a kind of some i don't know it's just a follow-up to the rest of that video so you guys saw me unbox the home pod it was really good um I used it and then something just started to sound a little bit off about it. So something, when the bass was kind of high, I would hear a little bit of rattling, just that, a slightest little bit of rattle in the speaker. I thought maybe it was just me, but then I was like, I don't know. And since I bought it used, my real only recourse was uh, take it to Apple because I couldn't return it. So what I did was I uh, Googled the serial number just to see if it actually had warranty left. And to my surprise, yes. There was still warranty left, so if there was an actual issue, I'd be covered. So I went, made an appointment down to my local Apple store, and lo and behold, even the uh, you know Apple store genius, whatever you want to call him, the person helping me, she said the same thing. She's like, wait, that's not right. It does not make that kind of sound. I have a couple of them at my house, and I've, I'm around them here all day. That's not the sound they make. I think this is defective. I was like, thank you for that. And now was my concern. I was like, what are they going to do? Are they going to fix it and then make me wait a couple weeks until I get it? Are they going to find me a refurbished one and give it to me? I was, this was what I was unsure about. But then she's like, no, no. What we're going to do is I'm taking this one. I'm going to give you a brand new one because this device generally has such a low failure rate. We don't have refurbished ones or we don't have uh, ones that we give for replacement. Just take a new one. And I'll send, I'll get you out on your way. And that's what I want to just do. This is a testament not to just, you know, good customer service, man. Whenever I get good customer service, it makes me feel so good. It makes me 
you know, it feels like they respect me just as much as I respect uh, them. Not just Apple, I'm saying anybody who gives good customer service. So I just wanted to kind of put that in there. So I did end up getting a brand new HomePod. I still love it. It's been a couple of days now. I don't know, it's been a couple of weeks actually. And it's a great, great uh, thing. I actually lucked out, got it for cheap, got a new one. So, so in the end, all is good. And I just want to say, you know, good customer service is a big reason of why I really support Apple and why I actually suggest it to a lot of people because I've had experiences with other uh, brands where they really kind of annoy you if the problem is clearly theirs. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll kind of give you the runaround before they actually take action. In my experience, I know people have had bad experiences with a lot of Apple products. I've seen the videos, I've seen Linus's video, I've seen uh, Quinn from Snazzy Labs, but generally, with my experience, just mine, they've never had any issues. They've always made me whole. They've always made sure that I haven't had any problems. And if I do have any problem, they take care of it for me. So uh, shout out to Apple there. And that's kind of a reason why I say, go with who you prefer. So if you think that Samsung gives you the best customer service, go for them. I, it's, it's just, a, you know, that's a big decision. That's a big factor that nobody considers when they're comparing these smartphones on videos is how good the customer service is three years, three months, th six months, you know, after you've had the phone, what happens if something goes wrong? Is there any recourse? And, you know, that's what I'm saying. So let me know what you guys think about the HomePod. The Space Gray finish is pretty cool. I do really like it. The, you know, the slick glass up here, really nice. Um, the feel, the overall look, it's very Apple, very clean, aesthetically pleasing. Only one cord. The cord is very high quality and looks good too. Probably the best looking cord I have uh, in my entire mess of chargers and cables on my desk. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a good looking device. I'm not going to lie. It looks good. It sounds good. And I think that you know, if you have Apple Music, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, this is the way to go. But if not, buy Bose. That's going to be my kind of takeaway for today. And, you know, at this point, I'm just stuttering over and over. So what I'm going to do is wrap this video up right here, guys. Let me know what you think about the HomePod. Do you think I made the smart choice with buying this used uh, instead of going with Bose? Or I made the decent choice with this one and got a good deal. You know, let me know down in the comments below. I already know the answer from most people, but it will be interesting to kind of get a perspective from some of you other guys out there. So let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.